A 13-nation study that looked at the health effects of cell phone use isn't expected to be released in full until this fall. But already, some of the results from individual studies are causing controversy in the medical community. CBS's Michelle Gielen reports. Americans love the convenience of cell phones, but recent studies done primarily in Europe looking at the health effects of mobile phones have some doctors worried. The public has been lulled into thinking these were safe, and now we're finding that it's long-term usage of these cell phones that's associated with increased risks of cancer. But many doctors disagree and say the new studies are in no way conclusive. I think they haven't been proven to be dangerous. I think that we have uh, some 10-year follow-up data, but not enough. And I think if you base your decision on what we know today, I would say that they are safe to use. It's a controversy that has people talking, at least for now. For The Early Show, Michelle Gielin, CBS News, New York. Joining us is Dr. Keith Black, Chairman of Neurosurgery at Cedar sinai Hospital right here in Los Angeles. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Julie. How could this be? How could the medical community be so split where one half is saying one thing, the other half is saying the exact opposite? Well, Julie, what we have now are, are, are studies where none of the studies are absolutely perfect. There are flaws with all of the studies that have been done. Some of the studies have concluded that cell phones are safe, while some have concluded there's an association with cell phone use from the microwave radiation and increased risk of brain cancer. Uh, so at this point, we cannot conclusively say that cell phones are either safe or unsafe. All right, based on all the data that does exist, and a lot of it is conflicting, what do you say? I'm concerned I have kids. Should I let my kid use a cell phone because their brains are still developing? and I don't want them to have a brain tumor. Well, Julie, I think that the, the data that exists so far certainly is suggestive that there may be an association between the risk of uh, cell phone use and brain cancer and also benign tumor called an acoustic neuroma. We've only been using cell phones for about 10 years. And the analogy that I would use is very similar to, to cigarettes. If you have a 14-year-old smoking cigarettes, you don't expect them to develop lung cancer at 24. You expect them to develop a higher risk of lung cancer at 54. If you have an eight-year-old using a cell phone for 10 years, we're not concerned about what happens at 18, but what happens when he's 48. You know, what happens after 30 or 40 years of use? So at this point, the data is uh, suggestive, and I think it uh, raises enough concern that my recommendation is that we are cautious. Uh, and I think there are a number of safety uh, uh, things that you can do to decrease your risk like of being using exposed. So I, what I always recommend to my patients and friends and family, use an earpiece, keep the microwave antenna, the cell phone, away from your head. Uh, the radiation is directly related to the square of the distance. So even some cell phones now are recommending that we hold the cell phone about two centimeters away from the ear. Wow, all right, I good think it's, I think it's better to use hands-free and or text and, and, and keep it away from your, from your head. Good advice. Dr. Keith Black, thank you so much. Thank you, Julie.